right, so last time we did me guessing Shadowverse cards, it went horrible. I forgot everything about it legitimately, repressed. <laughs> now we're doing the reverse. You're gonna guess uh, Hearthstone cards, and you had played Hearthstone before, so you already know the fundamentals, but the game has changed quite a bit since you've last played. So we're gonna see how well you can do. Yes, it's been literally years. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ignidios. I play card games, mostly Shadowverse. I played Hearthstone before, but it's been a while. <laughs> That's all I wanted to say. <laughs> Just in case people didn't know. <laughs> Every one of these cards, by the way, is uh, you can evaluate them in a vacuum. You don't need to know the synergy of these cards. So this theoretically should be very easy for you because you're just so good at card games. You're setting um, me up to fail mm -hmm. so hard right now, Robert. <laughs> no, you got it. You got it. Okay. okay. So for this one, um, for these cards, I did not pick a Demon Hunter card. So you don't have to worry about Demon Hunter. Okay. And yeah, we'll see how well you do. All right, what about right. this card? Okay, Green Thumb Gardener, a Naga Druid minion. Refresh empty mana crystals equal to the cost of the most expensive spell in your hand. Whoa, whoa, wait. So if you have Nourish in your hand, this becomes one mana, <laughs> essentially? Yes. Wait, yes. wait, yo, that seems crazy. Like, listen, when I see a card that cheats mana in a game, unless it's like clearly silly, I, I tend to view it quite positively. In a class like Druid, where you are running expensive spells, uh, like, like Nourish is even on the, on the middle uh, of the pack there in terms of cost, right? Like you could have even more expensive spells than that and you could refresh. I think this card is good because as long as you have like a reasonably sized spell in your hand, which you often I feel like should have in Druid, this can end up being a really low cost, just five, five stat stick. I don't know, I think it's good. Yeah, okay. Uh, I feel like this card is probably below average. Oh, so dog. <laughs> <laughs> so the problem with this card is that not only do you have to have this in hand, obviously to play it, but you need to have a big spell. And how often is a five, five gonna be that impactful later in the game? Even though you're getting to refresh that mana, right? You also have to remember, you are putting this card in your deck. Is this the best thing you could be putting into your deck? Probably not. Not in, not in current 2022 Hearthstone. Okay, it's not okay. bad. I'm not going to say it's unplayable. Don't get me wrong. It has seen play, but it's been cut from decks pretty quickly. Okay, uh, you're see. right. You're right in the fact that mana cost or mana, not mana cost. I'll call this mana cost across every single Hearthstone card. Mana like cheating <laughs> in Hearthstone. Yeah is very, very good. Like it's always been very, very strong, but this one just isn't really mana cheating. It feels like it's more like, just can I cheat out of five, five? And that doesn't feel as powerful as some of the other stuff that Druid can do in the game. So yeah, it's definitely not, but it's not horrible. Like I'm not gonna say it's an unplayable, but I wouldn't consider it like good because it doesn't see a lot of play. It's probably like average to like below average. Oh okay. probably one. I missed the mark a little bit. It's okay. Okay, don't worry about it. <laughs> Speaking of mana cheating, what about this card? Another Druid card, okay. Cecily of the Fey Court, Taunt, Death Rattle, Draw Minion, reduces cost by eight. That's a random minion? Yes. Yeah, yeah. A random minion in your deck. No, <laughs> no, no, no. No, that can't that can't be good, right? Okay, so it's a death rattle, it's a taunt. Eight, eight, eight. What is this? Iron Bark Protector? Who are you talking? Why are you talking to me? <laughs> Uh, okay, and Death Rattle can get silence. The minion is random. You can only run one of this in your deck because it's a legendary. Nah, this card can't be good. This is this one's bad. This one's bad. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know about bad per se. Like, it's not unplayable, right? So I would consider it like a little bit above bad. Okay. The idea of this card is you clearly put it into a deck where you're running a lot of minions, uh, high cost minions. Right. You play this card, you could cheat it out. This is also printed it in a expansion where they added Death Rattle Synergy, which uh, you didn't, I didn't give you that information whatsoever, but you evaluate it pretty accurately, right? The bigger problem with this card is like, are you only gonna run big minions in your deck? I don't know about that. That's and what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Like, if, even if you're a druid deck, mostly running spells to ramp to get you there, like wild growth and nourish or whatever, like you're still gonna want some early game. Otherwise, you're just gonna get completely rolled over, right? So, yeah, there's no yes. way that this card is that good. Okay, what about this one? Okay, hunter card, right? Yes. Rot nest Drake. Well, the art is fantastic. Battle cry. If you're holding a dragon destroy a random enemy minion is okay this is entirely dependent on if dragon hunter is a thing which i don't know <laughs> if it is i've seen dragon paladin 
I, okay, I will say, just to give you the context, there was a Dragon Hunter deck. There okay, so one. there was a Dragon Hunter deck. Okay, okay, okay. Now, now was that deck good? Ah. Um, <laughs> you want to tell me? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, let me see, let me see. If you're holding a dragon, random enemy minion, it's a 5-6-5. Five, five. The target is random and conditional. I think this is mediocre at best. That's my that's my call. Okay, I would call this card good, if not great, if not fantastic. Okay. Uh, this card <laughs> single-handedly made the dragon hunter archetype like viable. Okay, this okay. I, see, the thing is, I didn't know how much dragon was in dragon hunter. I feel like I got <laughs> debated here by you. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. In a vacuum, though, like, it, as long as some dragons are played, like, on average, right, let's just say dragons on average are playable like okay just not good or bad right if this card is in the format i think you could look at this card and go that's very strong like I'm this just is thinking kind of like nutty. here's here's my thought process was that sure sure like sure. if you don't have a dragon and also if the enemy's board is wide then it ends up being like pretty stuck in your hand so maybe i was a bit sure. pessimistic and i was just looking at the dark side of things here so th i will say this as well so you do you remember what highlander is in hearthstone where oh like, yeah the singleton i remember deck? So there uh, we're was gonna be a rich or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Reno. Yeah, exactly. So there was a Highlander deck for Hunter, and this card was ran in it because Ooh, there was really uh, yes, there was a and of course you don't know this, but this is half the fun. Okay, um, you don't there there were enough good dragons for this card to just see play in a Highlander deck because the tempo swing you got on this card was so great that your opponent now has to react to this card and then you get to push tempo right. I see. I and see. And there was an aggressive Dragon Hunter deck that saw a ton of play when this card was released. You put this at the top end, you absolutely roll your opponent when they try to play a taunt against your minions, you just win the game. Like this card was very, very good. Very okay, good. I can see it, I can see it, that makes sense. Man, okay. I, like I was saying <laughs> mediocre at best, but turns out you can run it in Highlander. Okay, I see, I, yeah, see. Yeah. I underestimated it was, this one. All right, what about this card? Sorry, for this expansion, they did release one secret, but Mage already had secrets in their set. Yeah, I remember. I remember Mage had okay. secrets. They have three mana secrets, if I remember correctly, right? Yes, three mana secrets, yeah. Well, that means you can play a three mana secret and then play Chatty Bartender on four after your three mana secret. And yes, I you think, could. And I think the secrets that Mage has at its disposal often don't get procced until way late in the game. Like, if you think about Ice Block, for example. Ice block rotated. It's gone. Oh. Thank God. But oh, yeah, okay. you're right. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just got whiplash from that. <laughs> yeah. Ice block was such an integral part of my experience playing this game back in the day. <laughs> I think this card is good. Final answer. Final answer? Okay. Uh, so, unfortunately, this card has not seen enough play to actually get any data on it. Well, that so, is not a good sign for what I just yeah, said. Yeah, <laughs> so if you can probably imagine, this card isn't that great. Now, I will say this, this card is, obviously it's very good if you can just do what you said, right? You play Secret, you play this on four, and it's like, holy crap, it's so good. It deals two damage to all enemies, right? Yeah. Uh, but like, how often does that happen? I'm an eternal optimist, apparently, is what I'm finding yeah, uh, you went from a huge pessimistic on a dragon to just chatty bartenders nuts. If Mage had Ice Block in the game, like still in standard, all right, dude, this card's probably insane. Okay. Because it's like you you have to kill that card. Like at that point, you can't leave this up. Um, but because Ice Block doesn't exist, again, thank God, um, this card ends up not being super great. What about this card? And like you could probably imagine, this card was released with a bunch of cards that help rock this. Okay. Oh, I remember Enrage was a thing for Warrior, right? I feel like I'm unlocking it a core memory. Uh, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Decimated Olgra. Gain plus one, plus one for each damaged minion, including the enemy minions, okay. Then attack all enemies. So remind me, attack all enemies, does that mean that this deals, like, the its attack stat to all enemies and doesn't receive any damage back? No, or so this one would go one by one attack every single enemy, including oh. your hero, by the way, including the hero. Oh, OK, OK, include. Okay. Uh, but it I will say this, though, like, let's say it goes like minion, minion, hero. If it dies to the second minion, it doesn't attack the hero anymore. Right. Is it, it, it random or left to right? It is random. It is random. I believe <sighs> I'm almost 100 percent sure it's random. OK, 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 OK. Game plus one plus one for each damage minion, then attack all enemies. Um. It's, it is quite conditional. You can play Whirlwind, like a Whirlwind deck with this. Go wide, play Whirlwind, play Decimator Olgra? Question mark? 
Question mark. But then if but if they have just like one tall guy and this runs in and instantly dies, that's pretty bad. Hmm, interesting. But it has quite a high health stat too. Uh I'm gonna say it's one of those things where they were trying to push the archetype, but it didn't quite land, and it's only okay. Um, hmm. that's a. I guess that's a pretty good way of describing it. Oh, okay, the, thank God. Okay, so, Finally got so one right. This, <laughs> <laughs> this package is not super great right now. The bigger problem with Enrage Warrior, though, is not this card itself. It's more that they just don't have great card draw. Okay. So they they took out the fundamental card draw this year for standard for some reason. Wait, even they, though do, they, they don't have it. um, what's it called? Something battle, rage. It's anymore? called battle. Yeah, so they, they removed. So, just to give you some more context, two years ago when Demon Hunter came out, and Rage Warrior was tier S. It okay. was like the only deck in the game that can actually fight against Demon Hunter for a short period of time. Uh, that card, it was because of one card, and then that card rotated out. But Battle Rage was still in the format because, you know, it's been around for the game. It's really good for Warrior. It makes total sense. Warrior likes to bash their heads into things, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever. But I feel like maybe they thought that card was just too good some of the time, and they thought Rage Warrior was actually going to be playable. It's not playable. It's really bad. Uh, right. To give you some stats on this card, this card currently has a 47% win rate, which is not great. So what about this card? Lothar. I know this guy from the Warcraft lore. He's, he's the old man. <laughs> seven, seven, he's seven. He's the old man. <laughs> At the end of your turn, attack a random enemy minion. If it dies, gain plus three, plus three. But what if the enemy minion has poisonous? What if... <laughs> Isn't that a thing? That's a thing, right? <laughs> it is. It is. What if the enemy minion, you know, the enemy, the, what if the enemy has a an, a high cost, a high stat guy, and a little baby weenie, and this one kills the weenie, and the high stat guy can attack your face the next turn? Mm, I'm thinking it's not very good, Raren. I think it's <laughs> bad. Yeah, it's pro it's pretty bad. Yeah, yes, it's, uh, yes. It's <laughs> okay, good. This screamed to me like a, a card that does not fit into any deck. It seems like this this effect is very standalone and it doesn't really do anything. I don't know what spoke to me about it, but that, that's just the vibe I got. Okay, what about this one? Rokara. Rush, after a friendly minion attacks and survives, give it plus one, plus one. That includes itself? That includes itself, yes. Ooh, okay, okay. After a friendly minion attacks and survives, give it plus one, plus one. I think with Rush, like, this is an okay card. You're going second, you can coin this out on two against an enemy two drop, which seems pretty solid. As Warrior trying to build that tempo. If you can, if you, mm, I'm gonna say outside shot, this one's pretty good. Uh, So when this card was released, it was actually pretty decent. Okay. Uh, there was a deck that did see, <laughs> there was a deck <laughs> that did see play. The really good thing about this card is actually not even like, pointing her out is if you have minions already on board and you play this and you hit face those minions actually still get the stat buff, oh right? i didn't even realize that oh yeah. my god so that's, yeah that's wow. where it really shines okay so it, this card could be extremely snowball -y. now after the first expansion i have not seen this card in so long i don't remember seeing the cards but yeah, it did seem, again, it saw play. It saw play for a little bit. Um, okay. It definitely wasn't unplayable. Just yeah, currently it's just not super good. All gotcha, right, gotcha. this is going to be your first dual class card. Okay, Ooh, so for one class. expansion, yes, for one expansion, they decided to do dual class cards. There were some really awesome cards in here. This one is for Priest and Warlock. So both classes can play it. Yes, both classes can play it. Okay. Hysteria. Choose an enemy minion. It attacks random minions until it dies. Uh, thinking, thinking, <laughs> thinking. This could be so annoying. I'm imagining myself fighting that little prick Anduin and he, him playing this card on me and uh, I could imagine myself getting so mad at it. <laughs> I think this card is pretty, pretty good. I'm gonna gamble on that. I'm gonna say it's good. Yeah, this is probably one of the best removal tools that Priest got. Yes! Uh, Warlock, di <laughs> Warlock didn't use this as much, uh, unfortunately, right? Yes. This card was like, this card's nuts. So like, there are so many applications for this card. If there are three small, if there are three medium sized minions, it's a good chance this clears the whole board. If there's one big minion and a bunch of smaller minions that you, you hit the big, you target the big minion, it kills everything and it kills itself. 
This card was so good, by the way, that it was actually nerfed. This is the nerf version, and it saw still a ton of play. It used to say, choose a minion, which means you no can play way. a minion for yours. Oh, no yes. way. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's so, insane. Yeah, so that card was very good. Uh, they nerfed that thing pretty fast because it was nutty. Brandon, yeah, I'm feeling rage. like a million bucks right now. I feel like I just got an A on my exam or something because I just <laughs> nailed that one. I nailed that one from the rip. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I am extremely excited to see how you do on this card. Are you ready for this? Okay, I'm ready. All right. All right. I'll, I'll either do this. fantastically or fail spectacularly. So let's go. Nine mana, nine, nine, death rattle, resummon this with minus one, minus one. It's annoying. So I'm gonna give you some information. It is annoying. I'm gonna give you some information. So when it says resummon this with minus one, minus one, it goes to an eight, eight, right? right? But if you buff this card, for instance, like a 12, like you say you just gave it 10, like it's now 10, 10, right? Like just yeah. from a buff, it still goes to an eight, eight. And then it goes to a seven, seven to a six, oh, six. Oh, so it's even if it's buffed, it resummons the, the, follower like the yes. regular follower so it doesn't include the buff i don't think there's any way this is good 999 is so late into the game you summon this it doesn't immediately impact the board and it's annoying to deal with but it it, it can be removed i think this one is bad that's my call oh interesting okay so i wouldn't oh, I don't consider like this I don't card like that. i don't like that ooh this interesting card, uh, i feel like i'm <laughs> I feel like i'm about to get like ashton kutcher's like punked or something right now <laughs> okay yeah so this card it's not bad it's definitely not bad uh this card is what i would like to call like almost a tech card in specific meta games like if the meta game is slower right and you oh, play okay, this okay. card you're you're winning the game like how do half the car half the decks in that format couldn't answer this card right, right now priest okay. on the other hand oh my god i want to go insane against that but against a lot of decks this card was just really decent and there were ways for you to actually copy this minion so then you could just have two rattle gores on the board and which was very very which now was this card amazing no it wasn't amazing was it good yeah it was it was i think i'm almost 100 percent sure it was played competitively okay because it just okay. so I yeah it it looks like it's very slow, right? But Warrior, I think, would be the only class that can actually run this because Warrior had life gain. It has a lot of ways to gain armor, and it's just a straight up win condition in itself, right? This is a one card win condition because your opponent, if they can't actually answer this card, is just gonna, this is gonna smack their face every single turn. So <laughs> let's go on to the, this is the second last card, okay? Okay, sure. Oh, here we go. It's a rogue card. Okay, a little bit of context. I suck at rogue. I sucked at rogue even when I played the game. <laughs> so I don't play this class. Okay. Destroy a minion and all copies of it wherever they are. So including deck and hand? Yes, deck and hand. Interesting. Is there a rogue card where you can run more than two copies of it in the deck? Yeah, uh, there's also Shadow Step, if you remember. Uh, Shadow Step is where you bounce a minion back to your hand and it costs two less. So you can play Flick, Shadow Step it, and do that again to another minion if you okay. want to. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Destroy a minion, all copies of it everywhere. That seems like the delta between the worst case scenario and the best case scenario for this card is insane. Like, if they have the <laughs> card in hand or on the board, then this is an insane removal. If it's at the bottom of the, like if the second copy is at the bottom of their deck, then it doesn't really matter because you're not likely to draw into it anyway. But I feel like the potential for this card in terms of removal is so high. Like if you can destroy, outright destroy a minion and make your opponent discard one, is that how it works? Yeah, if they I mean, theoretically, right? If it's in their hand, yes. Yeah, yeah they, like that in, seems yeah. insane in that, in that, in that, <laughs> scenario i'm gonna say it's good but i feel like this is a debate in in my heart i feel like it's a debate but i'm gonna say it's good the, this card was good it was, it was oh played. thank uh, god <laughs> yes so i think one of the aspects of this card is that you're focusing on just like multiple copies sometimes it's just good enough to just kill your minion right and summon a four right, four right. or kill a minion and summon a four four right i feel like uh, other like, times sorry go for it no no yeah yeah like that scenario where you just destroy a minion is not that bad and then the upshot of being able to make them discard a card or destroy more than one minion is like such an insane upside that yeah this this card's probably good yeah um it was just 
I'm trying to remember if there was anything particular that it would kill, but it, it was just a very good tempo advantage, kind of like the rottenness trick I showed before. But sometimes there would be a minion that you would kill that would be very vital to your opponent's win condition or just very good tempo wise or good stats mm. and you just remove it. I mean, shadow stepping this card, like I mentioned, was very, very good because you just you do two, like four mana to kill a minion and summon a 4-4 four four is pretty great, right? And you already did this previously. So this card did see play. I, again, it's not a card that's like, oh my God, you're, this is the reason why you're playing Rogue, but it was it was good for sure. It, it saw play. This is the last card I'm gonna give you. And this is the most Bacante one, all right? Okay, last card, okay. got it. Ooh, Theotar the Mad Duke. Battle cry, discover a card in each player's hand and swap them. Maybe this is whack. I'm putting it out there. But I think this card is good. And here's why. If their deck is built around very specific key cards and very specific win conditions, and you get the option to play this, you can swap one of your dud cards with one of their key cards and make their deck invalid. That's one scenario. Another scenario, you can swap a dud card with just a better card, getting you a mulligan that turn, which seems very strong. So that's another scenario. Or you could mess up their mana curve, which also seems very, like, potentially game-breaking if, if they're a tempo deck and they can't play a 2-drop, for example. Oh, no, sorry, this is turn 4, what am I talking about? But if they're a tempo deck and they can't play their mid-range cards on time. Because of those reasons, like, I'm thinking best-case scenarios, I'm thinking this card is actually good. Yeah, uh, uh, I think that's a very good way of describing it. I oh, would argue okay, that, great. <laughs> all right, so this is actually, this was released in the most recent set. And this, and so again, I, I said this in another video, but I'm gonna toot my horn again. Sure. I called this card the best card of the set. Because uh -huh. in, in Hearthstone, and I believe it's the same in Shadowverse from what you told me, you can't interact on your opponent's turn, right? So yeah. having a card like this is so vital to just disrupting your opponent, right? There are so many times in Hearthstone over its years where you just die because you couldn't do anything about what your opponent was doing in their hand, right? This card says, hey, you can't do that anymore. You're stupid. I'm going to take your win condition, right? Like, imagine you, you imagine you take a Denathrius with this. Yes. So like you take like a big Denathrius for the, okay, I should mention for those of you who don't know, we re, we re, have to re-record this. I picked new cards. So that's why how he, how he knows Sire Denathrius. It's not that, like you knew I, that already. The only thing yeah. I remember from that last recording session was Sunken Ear <laughs> somehow isn't good. Denathrius <laughs> is good. And Raren's cat likes to unplug his computer. Those are the yes. only things I remember. <laughs> so don't worry about it. Overall, dude, I think you did pretty great to be fair. Uh, the last recording, I think you did pretty good too, even though we didn't finish it. There was a couple missteps right at the start. And a couple I missteps. What, what did I say? I said that Rattlegore was bad. I said that Rokara was better than it was. I said that Chatty Bartender was good and that Rotten S. Drake was bad. So, yeah, you know. That's, no, I already got I, the thumbnail, boys. I'm Let's not go. <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> I'm, glad that, I'm glad that I provided you the clickbait this time. <laughs> Thank you. No, Thank I, you so I, I didn't swing 100, but honestly, I'm pretty happy with my performance here after not playing the game yeah. for so long. I think I did pretty okay. No, you did pretty okay. Yeah, it's uh, I hope you you see how crazy Hearthstone's become over the years. It's pretty wild. Like, the, yeah. game, is, the game is really interesting. Yeah. All right, dude, I appreciate you coming. Thanks for doing this. Um, Thanks for having me. It's okay. so much fun. I really, really enjoyed myself.